Young people ages 18 and up are being sought to serve as poll workers for the upcoming general election. We need English and Spanish speaking poll workers who will be paid to help protect and assist those who show up at the polls on November 3rd. Please visit www.proctorpowerthepolls for information and to sign up. Amen. And welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Monday, October 5th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you've joined us this morning. We'd also like to invite you to visit our website at stpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting the letters SDPC to the number 84576. And that will automatically sign you up for text messages from us. We will never sell or share or give your information away. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service at noon and 8.30 p.m. today by dialing the number 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Amen. Good morning and thank you, Reverend Webb. From Psalm 119, remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. The arrogant mock me unmercifully for praying and wearing a mask and socially distancing, but I do not turn from your law. I remember, Lord, your ancient laws and I find comfort in them. Indignation grips me because of the wicked who refuse to pray and wear masks and socially distance. They who have forsaken your law, your decrees are the theme of my song wherever I lodge. In the night, Lord, I remember your name, that I may keep your law. This has been my practice, and I obey your precepts. Lord, as we gather once again for our prayer-demic against the pandemic and the police-demic, we invoke your presence. We gather for the many who've outrun us home to glory, and we gather to pray for peace for their loved ones and peace and healing for the sick, whether they suffer from physical or mental illness. For you are our light and our salvation. Lord, please protect the medical staff and the frontline workers and the essential workers, the poor, the broke, the unemployed, the hungry, those sheltering at home with their abusers, the incarcerated and the homeless, dear Lord. Change the hearts and minds of elected officials making stupid decisions on behalf of our people and obviously stupid decisions on behalf of themselves. Deliver us from all those who want to continue to kill our people by a myriad of means. Not only in the infection of Corona, dear Lord, but in the infections of complicity and complacency with racism and white supremacy and in the disease of downright ignorance. As always, we gather to pray for the power to overcome these plagues and we gather to pray for the power to change the socioeconomic and political conditions that have left generations so vulnerable that though many have died, yet shall they live on through us and our work. Grant us the vigilance to replace Rona and racism with reparations. Have our ancestors zoom into this prayer meeting this morning to whisper in our ears how they made it over. Bless this Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, Dr. Alva Carruthers, Dr. Jeremiah Wright, Dr. Freddie Haynes, trustees, organizers, staff, leadership of the conference. 
Bless our minister of music today and bless our mighty, mighty prayer warrior and preacher, dear Lord. Come by here, oh Lord. Won't you come on by here? It is on our ancestors' shoulders. And in Jesus' matchless name, we pray. People of God said, Ashe and Amen. God bless you. Good morning. Welcome. Hope everyone had a blessed and minimally stressful weekend. We greet you in the Zulu language of South Africa. Sao Bonane, which means we see all of you. We value all of you. We respect all of you. You are important, each and every one of you. And most of all, each and every one of you matters to us. Our very special prayer warrior this morning, a dear friend and brother in the ministry, Bachelor of History from Yale, Master of Divinity from Harvard, Doctor of Ministry from Union Theological Seminary. He is the ecumenical officer for the African Methodist Episcopal Church, as well as presiding prelate of the third Episcopal district, serving as bishop for Ohio, West Virginia, and the western part of Pennsylvania, an author, teacher, preacher, community leader, and motivational speaker. And of course, he has served congregations in North Carolina, California, Maryland, and taught at Monrovia College in Liberia. He is currently working with us to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Million Man March, reprising his very important role 25 years ago of bringing 2 million, helping to bring 2 million black men to the National Mall. Following our minister of music this morning, uh, who began his music aspirations as a student at Fisk University and a Jubilee singer, uh, in fact, and also coming up through Trinity United Church of Christ, we will be blessed this morning with song by Harold Chip Johnson. And then the next voice you will hear will be that of the presiding prelate of the third Episcopal district of the AME Church, the Right Reverend Bishop Frank Madison Reed III. Amen. <laughs> We don't need another political uprising. We don't need another conqueror on the scene. What we need is a special word that will bond within our hearts and give us direction from above we need a word from the lord a word from the lord just one word from the lord that will move all doubts and cause the sun to shine and give us peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Lord, we lack that 
wisdom and understanding. Lord, we lack the very love you showed your son. Lord, we've altered in thy ways and we stand so much to gain. So give us your word, Lord. Speak, Lord. We need a word from the Lord. A word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord that will move all doubts and cause the sun to shine and give us peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. We need a word from the Lord. A word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord that will move all doubts and cause the sun to shine and give us peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. As we get ready to pray, I ask that you might scroll down in your Bibles or circle or write in your Samuel D. Wood Proctor prayer notebook, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11 through 13. If you have your Bibles, please circle it in your Bibles. Dear, dear, Samuel D. Wood Proctor Group, I can't tell you how much I long for you to enter this wide open, spacious life. We didn't fence you in. The smallness you feel comes from within you. Your lives aren't small, but you're living them in a small way. I'm speaking as plainly as I can with great affection. Open up your lives, live openly, and expansively. Let us pray. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We have gathered from all over the nations in your presence, asking that we might open our lives to you so that we can live openly and expansively in a world that would make us small and imprison us in the wickedness of white supremacy and its handmaidens, poverty and self-hatred. We come to you this morning, O oh God, because we know in the name of Jesus that you are calling us to enter into the wide open and spacious life of, of kingdom, of the kingdom of God and liberation. We thank you, God, that we didn't let slavery close us out or fence us in. We thank you that we don't let the new, we are not letting the new Jim Crow close us out or fence us in. And so we open our lives to you this morning in the name of Jesus, and we give you our problems, knowing that you are a problem solver. We give you our challenges because when we do, we are more than conquerors through you, O oh God, that loves us. We give you the problems of Africa, the problems of the nations, the problems of Brazil, the problems of Africans in the diaspora. O oh God, we open our lives and open our problems to you. We open our pain to you, the pain of of COVID-19 chaos, the pain of white supremacy, the pain of poverty and economic inequality. But oh God, we thank you that when we open up 
almighty and everlasting God, when we open our lives to you, that you in the name of Jesus send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us. And so now God, in our last minute of prayer, we come to you because we We open our spirit to you in the name of Jesus. Then God, hallelujah, we encounter your presence, your power, and your peace. Your presence that opens us to blessings in the midst of breakdowns so that we know that our setbacks are set up for a comeback. We thank you, God, in our last 46 seconds that as we open our lives to you, as we open to your presence, then we open to your power. Holy Spirit, empower your people to put on the whole armor of God, knowing that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And then, God, we live expansively, knowing that the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we might live life more abundantly, more abundantly like, hallelujah, Ella Baker, more openly like Harriet Tubman, more openly like Richard Allen, more openly like Martin Luther King, more openly like Malcolm X. And so it is in the name of Jesus that we come now and give you honor, give you praise, and giving you glory because it is in the name of Jesus, in the mighty and miraculous name of Jesus that we live today and the rest of our lives openly and expansively in Jesus' name, amen. So tell me if it had 
not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? The election is fast approaching. The Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, along with other organizations, is actively recruiting English and Spanish speaking poll workers who will be paid for helping to protect and assist those who show up at the polls on November 3rd. Historically, these workers have been over the age 60, and we know that our elders are much more susceptible to COVID-19. And therefore, we're looking for you. We are actively recruiting young people to serve as poll workers and election judges. Visit www.proctorpowerthepolls.com. Again, that's www.proctorpowerthepolls.com today. Early bird registration for the 2021 conference is now open. Listen, I need everyone to go and register for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference next year. The dates are February 22nd to the 25th. The theme for next year is Holy Rage, Holy Hope, Radical Reimagination for Transforming Communities. Listen, I need all of y'all to register and be there. It's going to be virtual, but it's still going to be powerful. Now more than ever, we need to meet. We need to learn. We need to pray. We need to strategize. Register for the conference. Conference. See you there. Amen, amen, amen. I hope you will register. We uh, know that the work of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference would not be possible without your help. So please continue to support our work by, noting, by donating through our website, sdpconference.info on the Invest Contribute tab, or you can find the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference on Givelify. Um, our work and vision for justice needs your ongoing support. We are blessed and grateful to be in community also with all of you. Let me let you know about a special event that is uh, uh, coming up. Uh, Tonight, 8.30, a Black Church Rocks virtual concert sponsored by the Black Church Action Fund featuring Soul Development, Kiara Sherrod, Charles Jenkins, Karen Clark Sherrod, Fred Hammond, John P. Key, J.J. Harrison, Israel Houghton, Isaac Carey, Anita Wilson, and Dorinda Clark Cole. And it will be hosted by our very own Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr. That will be on the Black Church Packs Facebook page and YouTube page. So we invite you to be a part of that. Um, before we close, just one more thing I wanted to mention in introducing um, our psalmist this morning, Harold Chip Johnson, I failed to mention um, that his long history working on behalf of our young people in Chicago public schools has now led him to be the chief officer for the Office of Family and Community Engagement in Education. Just wanted to lift that up, especially uh, at this moment of pandemic and violence and lift up the work that he's doing on behalf of our young people. We are also thankful as always to Bishop Frank Madison Reed. Again, stay tuned for information on the commemoration of the 25th anniversary of the Million Man March. Amen. If all hearts and minds are clear, God, we ask you to receive in the cradle of your arms those who've already passed from this coronavirus and the cops' violence and the violence in our communities. Please comfort and strengthen their loved ones with the assurance that the one you sent will bear their burdens and faithfully bring forth justice. Guide us to empty their tombs and resurrect those who've died by continuing our own freedom fighting to change the conditions which cause their deaths. As we leave each 
other to go about our respective days, Lord. You are our refuge. Leave the ancestors to linger to guard our doors and render impassable our thresholds to virus and violence, Rona and racism, Confederacy and the cops. We are more than Corona, more than the cops, more than the Confederacy, because we are more than conquerors and no weapon. Amen. Thank you for our prayer warrior today. Thank you for our minister of music and on the shoulders of our ancestors and in the name of the one with the woolen hair like ours, the blazing eyes like ours, the bronze feet and the deep nilotic voice like ours. And who like George Floyd and Michael Brown and Sandra Bland and others breathed his last in custody, we pray in his name. The people of God said, Ashe and amen. Thank you all very, very much for joining us. Join us right here once again tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful and a blessed and a healthy and safe day.